What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Commuter, which is in Halo 2, complete Metropolis without entering a vehicle on Heroic or Legendary. So start this mission up, Metropolis from Halo 2, obviously we need to be on Heroic or Legendary. I'm going to do it on Heroic to make it a little bit easier, and we could do this with some skulls, that's going to make this a lot easier. They just added the Acrophobia skull to Halo 2, so we're going to use that so we could fly to the end of the mission essentially. And we're also going to throw on Envy, which allows you to temporarily turn invisible instead of having a flashlight. We're going to throw on Bandana for infinite ammo. We're going to throw on Scarab, so we have a Scarab gun. And all those will essentially make this a walk in the park. Or a fly through the park, I guess. We'll spawn in here at the beginning of the mission. We're going to jump up in the air, and then we're going to fly along the right side or the left side of the bridge, however you want to do it. You can fly over the bridge directly if you want, but I'm just going along the side of it here because all the ghosts and wraiths up there, they cannot shoot me. They can't even see me. So I'm nice and safe down here uh, taking this path. So if you don't know how to actually fly with the Acrophobia Skull, it's really easy. All you do is once you're in the air, you can hold down the jump button and that will just make you fly in whatever direction you're looking at. So uh, you want to jump once and then you want to hit the jump button again and hold it down. And as long as you're holding it down, it's just going to send you in whatever direction you're looking. And another way to use this to maneuver around a little bit is if you actually just hold the crouch button down, as long as you hold it down, you will not move at all. So you will just kind of hover in midair, which comes in handy if you're trying to stop real quick, or if you just want to kind of hang out up in the air somewhere and have a nice vantage point. And you can see here I cloaked myself, so I'm invisible. The enemies cannot see me. There's a bunch of enemies towards the end of the tunnel, so that's where you want to save your cloak for. And I'm going to use it again right here. You could try to just fly over the heads of these guys, and you'll probably make it just fine. Um, but I'm just going to wait for my cloak to recharge, and then I can activate it again before flying over these guys. And we're going to go over towards the top of the scarab over here, then take a left, and we'll go over towards this area. And before we proceed, we actually need to spawn some enemies in. So we have to go over here towards this waterfall. And as you can see, as I backed up into that trigger volume, it popped a couple ghosts into existence. So we'll take these guys out easily enough with our scarab gun. A couple bursts from the BR with the scarab enhancement will do the trick. And we'll just fly up to the top of this building instead of going around uh, like we normally do. We could get a good vantage point on the sniper jackals from up here. So we'll take one out right there. And then I'm going to drop down and cloak myself because the other one is now aware that we're over here somewhere. So I'll cloak myself so I could easily aim at him and just fire one burst at him. Then there's two wraiths in this section. So we'll take out one of them over here. We'll fly into this section. And there's another one down at the far end. But there's also a third one that comes in as a reinforcement once you take out that first wraith. So there's going to be three wraiths total. We got the third one right here that came in from the left side down that ramp. And then we want to look up towards the sky because there is going to be a phantom that comes in and drops off two ghosts. But we could actually take out all the ghosts and all the turrets off that phantom by just firing a bunch of rounds at that thing with our uh, scarab gun. So make short work of that. We'll go into here. And you want to make sure that you don't fly up towards the door uh, to go to the next part of the mission uh, too quickly because I noticed that actually gets the scarab to despawn. So I like to just fly over here, chill on top of this scarab as he takes out the lone scorpion tank down there who does not put up much of a fight, but he was a brave one. You'll know that you've properly avoided despawning the scarab accidentally if he actually blows up the scorpion tank. If he doesn't, he's going to end up despawning in this next section if you go too quickly. So that's why I like to fly over there, hang out on top of the scarab, and then we'll just wait for him to move up over here. Once the scarab almost gets to our location, he turns to the side and goes in a different direction, and the doors behind us will open up, and we'll just fly up here. And what I like to do on Lasso particularly is just fly to the end and then just deal with the scarab once he gets to the end. So that's what I'm doing right here. You could choose to board it right away and try to take it out, which is fine. The reason I wait for it to get to the end of the level over here is because it will actually just stop moving entirely, so it's a little easier to shoot around corners and things like that when you're on top of it. No reinforcements will spawn, which actually they keep respawning uh, if you're actually on top of the thing before it gets to the end here. So you have to fight more people than you would if you just waited for it to get to the end. And you get a nice checkpoint in case you die, which is very plausible. It's a little too easy to kill yourself with this scarab gun. But anyway, I skipped ahead a few minutes waiting for the scarab to get to this end point over here. Now we'll go back a little bit towards the way we came. We're going to pop out and cloak ourselves at the same time. So we could easily take aim and then fire a few rounds at the top of that scarab, taking out all those enemies. Like I mentioned, there's no reinforcements once the scarab gets to this point. So you just take out all the enemies that are on top easily enough. Once you get down here, there is one more wave of enemies that actually spawn in as you get down here. So there's two grunts on the left, and then there's going to be three elites. Two of those elites are piloting the scarab, so they're kind of not really paying attention to you too much. And one of them actually kind of charges your location. So just use your radar. You'll probably get some of the pilot's attention uh, with your scarab gun. Perhaps not. We got the attention of one pilot, it looks like, but the other one was just chilling. Someone's got to drive this thing, even though it's not moving. It's just idling. And as you can see here, the achievement has popped. 
It didn't pop in the final Metropolis cutscene that ends that mission, but it did pop right here at the start of the next mission, the Arbiter. Yours may pop a little earlier or later, just give it a little time. But that is it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later for more Halo achievements. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, be sure to click on the Scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You can also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen, and you can find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides, and I'll see you in the next one.